In this video, we're talking about sum to product identities. And that's because in this particular problem, we've been asked to convert this sum, or actually it's starting out as a difference, into a product. So we have sine of 9 theta minus sine of negative theta. And we need to turn this into an expression, which is the product of two trig functions. The way that we're going to do that is with a sum to product formula. <laughs> Makes sense. But the first thing we want to do is we want to deal with this negative angle because it's never nice to have a negative angle. So we're going to use this identity here, sine of negative u is equal to negative sine of u. That's always true. So when you have this negative angle in a side function, you can just pull that negative out in front. So this is going to become, first and foremost, sine of 9 theta minus, we'll pull the negative sign out in front, and this changes to negative sine of just regular positive theta. Of course, that's going to allow us to cancel these negative signs. They'll become a positive sign. So we end up with sine of 9 theta plus sine of theta. Now at least we have two positive angles. And from here, we can use the sum to product identity, which tells us that sine of u plus sine of v is equal to 2 times sine of u plus v. So notice we've got v in both places here, and we've got u in both places here. So u plus v divided by 2 multiplied by cosine of u minus v divided by 2. So we're just going to follow that formula. We're going to say first that we're going to call this u. So u is going to be 9 theta, and v is going to be theta. Now, if we take the right-hand side, we can call sine of 9 theta plus sine of theta, call it 2 sine of u plus v divided by 2. So 9 theta plus theta all divided by 2 multiplied by cosine of u minus v. So 9 theta minus theta all divided by 2. So we end up with 2 sine 9 theta plus theta is 10 theta, so 10 theta divided by 2, times cosine, 9 theta minus theta is 8 theta, so 8 theta over 2. So we end up with 2 sine, 10 divided by 2 is 5, so the result here is 5 theta. 8 theta divided by 2, or 8 divided by 2 is 4, so we end up here with cosine of 4 theta. And this, as quickly as that, is going to be our final answer because we now have the product of two trig functions. So we were able to use sum to product identities to turn this sum, or a difference, into a product. Could you use some extra help with math? Click the button to head over to calculusexpert.com. It's where I've collected and organized all of my best resources, including exclusive videos, notes, quizzes, and even formula sheets. It's the perfect resource whether you're struggling, or if you want to take your learning further, or even if you just want to save yourself some time studying. So check it out, because I know it'll help.